we've just entered the base layer of the death zone in, at five and a half thousand meters. Uh, we've got two and a half, two hundred meters to the crater rim, and then another 195 to the uh, summit. At this height, though, this is where it gets dangerous. It's uh, 20. It's 10 degrees outside with a wind chill. It's zero degrees Fahrenheit. I think we can do it. The youngest Irishman to climb Mount Everest spent his first day at home relaxing with his climbing partner who had to turn back just 250 metres shy of the summit. Ian Taylor and Graeme Kinch spent two and a half months attempting to reach the top. And I think for Everest for me it was a journey of um, discovery. Like I'd never been above 23,000 feet. So I was putting my life at risk and I was pushing the limit of what was actually achievable for myself. We set out to climb four mountains on four continents in a year. I was altitude sick on, ma on many of the mountains, which brought added fear and added pressure for me going on to Everest where people die and people can go from standing up to unconscious and dying within a 15 minute period. I broke down on a number of occasions and it was very difficult for me to continue climbing. <sighs> Just 3,000 to go. It's nice, at 10 o'clock, we head off. And I suppose looking back on it, you know, when you're crossing ridges that are with 10,000 foot drops on one side and 8,000 foot drops on another side, people dying in tents next to you, uh, climbers going blind right in front of you, um, and nearly pulling us off the mountain, I wanted to prove to myself that I was good enough. I suppose the journey started with, the, with Everest, it ended with something totally different. When we decided to climb Everest, we took on four mountains on four continents uh, to, to raise the money to build this school. The school has become the project Everest was only a small part of what we did. It became our lifelong mission um, and this school and this charity and this, this work now is, um, is certainly my Everest now um, and it always was, I just didn't know it.